guys aren't that bad yet. What's up guys? I'm Hendo letting you know that you should subscribe to Ray's Chaos because he's a dope guy. <laughs> and welcome back everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to my channel and I, <laughs> we are back with a vengeance because I have got another case of mystery minis and you know I love my mystery minis. And yeah, it feels like I haven't done any in a while, but I mean, I guess kind of the, the shoes were kind of close to that and I did enjoy that. But then again, I wasn't keeping those. So yeah, got some smiles out of some people though, once they, when they, found that they were going to get them. So we're going to bust into this. Um, I'd make a big announcement about what this case is, but uh, you probably saw the title, so you already know. So I'm not falling for that crap again. Fall for it every time. And boom. Ooh. Here it is. If you needed anything, yes. Funko's Retro Toys. A whole case. I just love how they package these to wear. I guess I should open up the bottom because the top's got all these that could all come out. Or I could just do this before I even start filming and save myself the embarrassment of doing what I just did. But nobody ever has ever accused me of being a smart person. Bop. And yes, we have got the retro toys from Funko. And uh, yeah, it looks like there's four G.I. Joes, four different G.I. Joe characters. Um, we've got three, uh, potato heads, Mr. Mrs. And I guess just a different design, Mr. Potato Head. Um, I know he's like gender fluid now. Who gives a damn? Um, there's, uh, my favorite mon monster, my little monster. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, get the glow worm flex. Stretch mental or stretch dude. Gosh. I want to say flex mentalo, but that's the Doom Patrol. Um, stretch Armstrong, that's it. Um, then you got the Play Doh guy and the Operation Dude. So ha. So we're just gonna break into this. I really I don't even know. I think I like the idea of having the G.I. Joe's. Um but uh, other than that, I'm just more curious to see what I get versus, you know, going after anything in particular. So we're just going to bust these. We're just going to start right in. Bam! We love this. Like, these all are from, basically, I was the age demographic uh, that would have been advertising to, to the, 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 that these advertisers would be selling to at the time. So, yeah, this is this is a little nostalgic on my end. We're going to see what we get to start out with and why do I even do this? I feel it like I'm going to guess what it is and I am going to guess that this is Leatherneck. With G.I. Joe Leatherneck. And I am correct because of this hat. This was actually one of my favorite uh G.I. Joe car uh, toys. Um, I actually used to carry, uh, this is one that I actively remember owning and uh, I kind of stuck with him. Like he, him and there was a character called Low Light. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was Low Light, Leatherneck, Outback, and Tunnel Rat. Those were my four favorite G.I. Joes. So, that's a good one to get. And unfortunately, I don't think they've made the other three in any capacity at all. So, let's keep going and tear into this. 
This they didn't even wrap the top of, so I can open this right up. And it's plastic all the way around it, just not the top. So, and going by experience, I'm gonna, this is just purely experience. I'm not even gonna feel this up, but uh, since the, yeah, um, since the uh, leather neck is a one and six, usually, the first two right there are the same character, and I am correct. I've done this enough. I've started to figure out the placement and everything, and it's probably going to go for probably going to get doubles up here, and uh, then it'll be back towards the back here that we get the unique, the really unique uh, to the unique to the case, I guess I should say. So two leather necks. One positive, one fail. And... Except for the... What was it? The, the Rescue Rangers, right? It's got so many ships. Okay, filling this up. And I'm not looking at the back of the thing again. Um, this just feels weird. I, I have no idea. I'll be honest. Is it, oh, it... That's why I don't get it. It's because it's a Mr. Potato Head. It's the actual Mr. Potato Head. And how freaking awesome is this? He's even got the little... <laughs> He's got the little thing where you put all the pieces up his butt. Um, so, oh yeah. Um, the eyes are painted on, um, but all the rest of his features appear to be stuck in. Just like they would be in the uh, on the actual toy. Um, the only thing they did, uh, if the eyes were bulging out, then that's, this would be just as about as exact as you could get as far as a replica goes. That is so cool. So let's see if I got more than one. Ugh. Like I said, the top, the top usually gives you very similar characters, so you can't be too judgmental here and yeah yeah another another mr potato head they couldn't even get they actually you could put them together they're high-fiving that's awesome <laughs> okay so does that look at that yeah he even has his backpack right that's that's just cool that is awesome Okay, so it looks like they're moving down the line. If they follow the pattern they've got on this one, this should be a glow worm. I do love predicting them, but I, it doesn't really do any good if I do it or not. So I'm going to predict this to be the glow worm, and uh, it's not. I, oh, this is this is Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Yeah, kind of easy to guess when you've got an arms pan like that. Oh my goodness. God, what a what a disgusting, disturbing toy, really, when you think about it. I mean, I, I never had one, but I knew people that did. And, uh, yeah, the texture of it. I think they've got, like, a current, you know, basically they go through cycles. And I think they've got another toy out there like that right now. But I don't follow it, follow things. I don't follow toys like I used to uh, outside of, you know, DC. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, that's, that's that was always such a creepy... Basically, you're getting a naked man that stretches. Maybe that's somebody's cup of tea, but it wasn't really mine. So let's see if we've got another one. And yes, we do. Yes, we do. Another Stretch Armstrong. Bam! God. It's just weird looking. I'm sorry, but it is creepy weird looking. Uh, I'm not going to go to the back because those are the real unique ones. So... So far, it, we got a typical response here. You usually get two that are the same on the top. 
and then the bottom is when things start getting interesting. You still get duplicates, but you still get some, but you'll get like one of a kind and you know, like, cause you know, they, they've got the numbers on here. So, uh, technically one, the glow worm is the only one in six I don't have one of yet. So that's probably what this is going to be since it's the, in the front. And I'm not really sure, but I kind of think that's, no, no. What is this? Oh, we've got the, my little monster or my pet monster. That's what it was. My pet monster. <laughs> I think my cousin had this, but uh, the, the fun part is that the, they came with the shackles and uh, they Velcroed around the little orange thing. They Velcroed around so you can put that on there. And the middle link in between them actually like pulled apart. So you could have him busting out of his chain or you could be busting out of his chain. But yeah, there's a My Little Monster. My pet monster. Almost made a Harley joke and said, Daddy's little monster. We're not going to go there. So, well, wait, is that... That's a 1 in 24, so... Yeah, we're already busting into the unique characters. So, yeah, that's one in every two cases that you could get one of these guys. So, that's, that's cool. That's... A little exciting. And what do we have in this one? Probably another unique character, I want to say. Open it up. It's uh, it's the other Mr. Potato Head character. Yeah, just basically a different design. Same. Same nose, uh, tongue sticking out, eyes the same, ears the same, put the glasses on, same little butt thing, but yeah, it's just basically another Mr. Potato Head. Uh, so that's two, that's two potatoes, and what was the, uh, I keep, I, I don't check these things like I should, uh, that's, ooh, this is a one in 72. So this is one of the hardest ones to get out of that. We're we're putting you up here. Dang. That is a super rare one. Um Huh. So, okay, wow. I love getting those. I love getting those. I love getting the one in 72s. Uh cuz as many as I've done, I think I've only done it maybe twice where I've gotten the gotten the rarest one I think the other one was the Universal Studios monsters and I didn't get that out of the case I got it out of a couple single single uh, boxes that I had gotten at GameStop huh. so okay so what do we got now I can't tell I think I know who this is and I threw it away without thinking, looking at his rarity. Uh, of course I did. But it's Shipwreck. Yeah, he was, I mean, if you watch the cartoon of G.I. Joe, he was right up front. Like, they used him all the freaking time. And uh, it almost felt like it was his show. Well, it was a, he's a 1 in 12, so... So yeah, that's that's two G.I. Joes, two potato heads, and yeah. So this isn't a bad haul. Not a bad haul. I'm still expecting to get at least one more duplicate, usually. That's how it works, but so far, that's a little... I'm not complaining, but that's a little strange that I haven't gotten... A duplicate. Since we're on the second, second layer, the bottom layer. But yeah, the bottom layer is where you get the meat. 
And bam, we got Mrs. Potato Head. So we've got all the potatoes. We've got all the potatoes. And yeah, she's a one in 12. And uh, huh, so the only one in six I don't have is the glowworm. Which that's fine, because usually you get enough of those and you don't know what to do with it. But yeah, we've got yeah, we've, we've got a lot more unique out of this. This isn't bad at all. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of twelve have not been a duplicate. Uh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. I, even if these two are duplicates, which chances are these are probably going to be the same since they, since I've gotten so many duplicates up front. So let's just open this up and we're going to see what we got left. I want to say I'm guessing this is the glow worm because it's a one in six. So it's pretty much, yeah, they just toss them all over the place in here. And... Yep, it's the glowworm. We got the glowworm. Which a lot of people, I don't even really remember what it was called. But yeah, it was like kind of a night light, like little thing where you squeezed it and his face like lit up. And I don't remember if it played music or not. But these were very popular. And I knew a lot of people that actually ended up having these. And, uh, you know, it wasn't really... It wasn't even really a just gender specific uh, toy. Um, they it was like oh okay, so yeah. I am not surprised, but I am going to guess that this is going to be the other glowworm because that's usually how it works. So I'm going to predict now that I got uh, eight in. Eight unique and four duplicates, and yep, I can already feel it. It's another glowworm. So yeah, that's that's not a bad little haul for all of these. Um, this was fun, um, a lot like the uh, the uh, the the pumps. Uh, weeks ago. I don't know how many of much of these I'm going to keep. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this was definitely a fun experience. This was fun to go away through. I still think it's cool that I got all three of the, uh, the potato heads that are available. That is just, that is just, mm, that's just, I, it wasn't something I was expecting. So, Okay, so uh, that wraps up this one, and uh, let me know in the comments which one of these is uh, your favorite, or if you had any of these when you were a kid, or if you're old enough to have had any of these as a kid when they were new, and uh, just let me know what you think of these uh, in the comments below, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and, and never forget... Life is full of odd moments. You never know when you'll be just fine. Where?